sorry that you had to come here for such a sad reason. But I wanted you to be able to say goodbye to Delia. We're all going to miss her, aren't we? Especially Billy. I could cheer him up with my new video game. I just don't think he's really in the mood for games right now, you know? Billy. You're not dressed for the funeral. I was going to be ready, but um, my alarm didn't go off, and I overslept. And then your mother was in the shower. I never thought she was going to get out. It's OK if you're afraid of the funeral, Billy. You know, buddy, you're right. I'm uh, I'm a little nervous about today. I feel a lot better now, so thank you. Why don't you run upstairs and then say goodbye to Johnny? Okay, grab your jacket. Smart kid. He can tell you're hurting. Yeah, you can always see right through me, too. You know, it's okay to talk about her. That's the last thing I'm able to do right now. I should probably shower, you know, get dressed. I don't want to be late. Why don't you and Reed go on without me? I'll meet Are you there. Sure? I mean, we can wait. I'm going to be there, I promise. I hoped we'd. Chloe. Hi, Victoria. Hey, hey Reed. When did you get into town? He flew in last night. Listen. If there's anything that you need, just let me know, okay? Thank you. Okay. Babe, look at you. <laughs> You're so big. I'm really gonna miss Delia. Me too, sweetie. Where's Billy? Um, well, you know, he would just need some more time to get ready. You know what, why don't you go in and talk to the minister and just have them hold up for a couple of minutes. I'll be right in. I will. Think about our little girl? Yeah, me neither, but let's go. Let's go do this together. We're here today to celebrate and honor the life of Delia Abbott. A life cut tragically and unexpectedly short. A lot of you have asked me, why did this happen? Why was a sweet, innocent little girl taken from the people who love her? I wonder if there's anyone here who can answer that question. Our faith tells us we have to trust in God's plan. That's not easy when you're faced with a tragedy like this. Losing anyone is difficult, but a child, a young girl as vibrant and full of life as Delia. How could you let this happen, Lord? Delia wrote a poem for Catherine's memorial, but I think it's appropriate for today. It's called Being Free. Being free means I can try on all of your rings, and you won't get mad. Being free means drawing with chalk all over the driveway together. Being free means we can have ice cream even after I brush my teeth. Being free means I love you forever.
was Reed. My parents took him to jail. When we video chatted last week, I told him that uh, he, Delia, and I would do something really special. This is not the promise I had in mind. We wanted to be here. But he should have been carving pumpkins and putting decorations in the yard. Dee told me he had something planned for when he visited. She was going to put on a little witch's outfit and hide in the closet, so when he arrived, she was going to jump out and scare him. She didn't realize that she was the cutest witch ever and that she wasn't scary, but hey, she was a funny kid. She's definitely her father's daughter. I was lucky to have her. She was lucky to have you. You were a great father. She could talk me into anything. I would do things for her that I wouldn't do for anybody. Even all those stupid little outfits that she would dress me up in. <laughs> How many cups of air did you sip at pretend tea parties? That's the point. All those tea parties, they weren't just pretend to her. They were, they were important. She loved them. I'm going to miss every feather boa, every silly hat, every pair of earrings you put me in. I'm going to miss everything that we can't ever do together again. I just hope, despite my many screw-ups, that she realizes just how much I love her. It was a beautiful ceremony, the flowers and the music, and I love that you read Delia's poem. I just wanted everything to be perfect for Delia. I'm sure she loved it. Kevin's right, and I know she's going to like what we have planned here, too. What do you mean? Come on, I'll show you. These are for you. Delia's favorite. <clears throat> Esther and Joe planned a tea party in Delia's honor. Hmm. Guess you want to dress for it. Not in the mood for a tea party? No, I'm not. If you're going to tell me that you know how I feel, then don't. No, I'm not, Billy. Nobody knows how you feel. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what, sweetie? I think I understood your pain when Colleen died. <laughs> I had no clue until now. I'm sorry. It's a horrible club to be a member of. Yes, it is. <clears throat> yes, it is. I would like to get out of it right now and just go back to the way things were. I know, sweetie. I know. <laughs> oh, do you know how much I've missed hugging you? I've missed you too, Grandma. Oh, you're going to have to come back to Genoa City more often so I can do that some more and spoil, spoil, spoil you. He reminds me of Chance. Chance grew up in California, so I never got a chance to <laughs> spoil him much. I was looking forward to a lifetime with Delia. I know. Uh, it's moments like this that make you miss Catherine? No. I miss Catherine a lot. 
moments like these, she had a knack for saying the right thing, you know? I think she would have been a great comfort to Chloe. Well, hopefully she's looking out for Delia. Yeah. Right. yeah. Excuse me, I just wanted to say hi. I'll, I'll go. I'll we'll talk later. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Are you holding up? You know, I'm OK. Yeah. I'm worried about Billy. I didn't think he was going to make it through that service. I think he seems to be holding up pretty well. Yeah, I was trying very hard to hold it together. That's the whole thing. I wish he wouldn't. Kind of wish he'd let it all out, you know? Some people have difficulty showing their emotions. Some people. Mm-hmm. So nice yeah. to see you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to go see how close time. You're facing something today that no father should have to face. You did it with great dignity and courage. Your dad would have been proud of you. Thank you. Are you hungry? Can I get you anything to eat? What can I do, Billy? Just, just tell me. Nothing. OK. Well, Reed and I are going to go upstairs and check on Johnny, so if you need anything, just call me. OK. 